Imagine waking up one morning to find that your face has been digitally planted on pornographic images and videos, which are now being shared by millions of strangers online without your consent. This unthinkable scenario became a disturbing reality for pop superstar Taylor Swift this week, as deepfake content featuring her likeness went viral across social media. In this video, we'll break down how this happened, the damage it's caused, and, most importantly, what needs to be done to make sure it never happens again. The spread of non-consensual deepfakes is a technological and ethical crisis, and if we don't take action now, anyone could be next. On Thursday, explicitly fake images of Taylor Swift generated by AI were shared widely online, amassing over 47 million views on X, formerly Twitter, alone before being removed. But the images continue spreading on other platforms. For those unfamiliar, deepfakes are highly realistic fake videos or images created using AI and deep learning algorithms. The technology can digitally replace a person's face and seamlessly graft it onto other content, like pornography. Deepfakes have become increasingly accessible through apps and open source models. All someone needs is a few images of a target, and they can fabricate explicit media featuring their likeness. It's an incredibly harmful form of impersonation and assault. In Taylor's case, a diffusion model, a type of deep learning algorithm, was likely used to generate the NSFL content. This technology is now in the hands of over 100,000 reachable apps and models, and it's spreading fast. While Twitter and other platforms have policies against private nude media, deepfakes fall into a gray area that our laws and content moderation systems haven't yet addressed. There are few regulations when it comes to AI creating fake pornography, and even when it's removed, the damage is done. Taylor's disturbed fans are left with lasting memories of seeing their idol victimized and objectified through these images. This case reveals an urgent need for updated policies and legislation to protect people, especially women, from becoming deep fake targets. The law has yet to catch up to this technology, and predators are taking advantage. Now let's discuss three critical solutions that can help curb this crisis. Firstly, our governments need to implement new laws, classifying deepfakes as criminal impersonation. There should be legal repercussions for creating and distributing non-consensual, sexually explicit deepfakes. Laws against generative AI tools that allow sexually explicit images or videos to be exported. If there are restrictions on generations, barriers will be high for anyone to create. In 2019, California passed legislation allowing victims to sue if deepfakes are made of them without permission. However, more comprehensive federal laws are needed to properly enforce them against offenders and hold platforms accountable. Two, social media accountability. Next, social media platforms have to be more proactive in their policies and content moderation against deepfakes. If a piece of content is reported as such by any user, algorithms should be good enough to shadow ban if it's true. Until a human checks and reinstates if it is not, social media sites need dedicated moderation teams to track and swiftly remove AI-generated abusive content before it goes viral. Loopholes that allow deep fake is pornography under the guise of parody should be closed. Platforms must also share information with authorities to prosecute creators of illegal deep fakes. Their reactive takedown approach simply isn't good enough anymore. Three. Individual caution online. Lastly, we all need to be more cautious about our digital footprints and privacy. Limiting public access to personal photos and information makes it harder for deep fakes to be made of you. Especially as a celebrity, be wary of oversharing online. Cybercrime is rising, and what seems harmless now could fuel damaging deep fakes tomorrow. The Taylor Swift situation proves we must talk about fake prevention before one goes viral. Had more protective measures been in place, she could have been spared this abuse. The bottom line is that non-consensual deepfakes are already destroying lives. If we don't start demanding change now, anyone could be next. Contact your representatives about supporting stricter legislation on fakes. Push platforms for stronger enforcement against AI-powered abuse. And seriously, consider your own privacy and digital safety. The tech landscape is evolving rapidly, and we need ethics to advance with it. 
public figures like Taylor Swift will continue to be victimized until we take a stand. This has to stop now before the damage is irreversible. The time to act is today. If you believe this should happen, share this video and subscribe.